Hey, it's Jamila from Buy Pink, and I thought that I would show you guys how I made my crossword puzzle for a, a video that is going to immediately follow this video. Um, it was a, It's a Mother's Day di design idea, and I just wanted to um, create a word search that showed names for Mother's Day. So, in this video... Here I'm going to show you exactly how I made the word search using Google Sheets. So of course you start with a new document and I did um, 13 across, um, 14 across and 13 down. No, 13 across and 14 down. So the first thing you do is highlight the, the ones across that you need and right click and go to resize columns and put in 25 and then you do the same thing for the rows down I deleted um, the rows behind and below just to make it a little bit of a cleaner workspace but you're going to um, do the same thing you highlight all of the the rows that you have down right click and then um, resize columns and make it 25 again so that you have actual squares. So the next thing I did was make my um, canvas uh, larger. So you just go up there to where it says 100 at the top and then you change the size so that um, you have a bigger work area. And now the fun part. So you just type in, start typing in your names. Um, there is no real rhyme or reason for the way you type them you type them however you want them to show on your project um i just typed in my names my kids names just randomly all over the board um i did use capital letters and i used a pretty basic font you can use whatever font you want um you can use whatever um you can use uppercase or lowercase however you want and you can also make them a little bit larger um, if you wanted to say use this for a wall decal or something like that but I made this one to fit on a Cricut mat so after I got all my names typed in I went in and in the empty boxes I went ahead and just typed in random letters and the way I did this was I just went up and down the keyboard um, until all of the boxes were filled in. And now that that's done, all we have left to do is to save it. So what you need to do is go up to view and click on grid lines because you obviously don't want those. And then you can save it as a PDF, which is what I did and open it in Adobe Illustrator and change it to an SVG or you can take a screenshot of your screen and save it and upload it directly to Design Space and then clean it up so that you can use it um, as a cut file. I hope this video was helpful to someone. Um, go ahead and click subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you know when I have a new video coming. And if you check the video directly following this video, you'll see the Mother's Day um, gift idea that I did all of this for. Thanks for watching.